So we went for a walk from Haworth to Bronte Waterfalls. We went with a, a group of students from Stanbury School along with their head, head teacher, Mr Swinburne. We were out there to explore the local environment and see if we could figure out how the valley had actually formed. If you look, there's lots of clues, lots of evidence, uh, which all points to the fact that it's a glaciated valley. At the start of the valley, it's all fairly smooth, but the further up you get, you can start to see lots of rock debris and other clues like the explorer's cliff face. Stanbury itself sits on a plug of land which was obviously left when the uh, glacier stopped and uh, melted. We try and make the children look at the clues and uh, try and get them to work out what happened here. You know, if you look at the direction of the valley, the shape of it, uh, and why there are strange rocks in the uh, in the valley. When we actually look at it at that, that, that actually informs the type of agriculture that we would find in typically in the Worth Valley. Typically that would be sheep. Uh, the two crops of sheep are wool and meat, so f food to eat and wool, which clearly is part of the uh, uh, the textile industry. Without this type of agriculture, uh, the city of Bradford would never have come into being. So although we're out in the uh, wide open spaces, we actually are the reason that there is a city in Bradford. So also while we're walking up, up, up the valley, we actually can find some uh, industrial heritage there. You can see that there's an old pump house long since uh, collapsed, but actually it was used to pump water out of a coal mine, which we had in the local area. Lots of coal round and about, not in huge quantities or, or anything like you might find in a, a huge pit, but enough for the local uh, economy. So if you have a look around, you can see there are lots of fossils and other clues that date, date back millions of years. What we find in these days is that access to this valley is now a tourist makes it a tourist destination. And as you can see, we've probably bumped into lots of different people from all over the world. On one walk, we saw some deer and some red kite had uh, moved into the area. So it, it, it works for everybody, everybody working together in peace.